nomenclature of organic compounds or we can say that the naming of the alkanes alkenes and alkynes so how we can name the alkanes and how do you know about the nomenclature so nomenclature basically the history about this the naming of the organic compounds before 1947 the naming of the organic compounds was the very simple way and it was based on the common system that is the common naming of the organic compounds but as the chemistry grew up and uh, the development just going to be happen in the chemistry so the scientists formed a committee that committee is known as IUPAC now this IUPAC stands for international union of pure and pure and applied chemistry so iupac mainly stands for the international union of applied and pure chemistry this is known as iupac that was established on an in international level or international standard for naming the organic compounds so for the naming of the organic compounds the simple way is through the iupac so the main system of the nomenclature is based on the principle that principle is each different compound should have compound should have a different name a different name it means every different compound must have a different name no one compound is going to have the similar name with the other one so the iupac committee just found this rule that each different compound must have a different name for the naming of the organic compounds this committee just set up some rules basically there are 10 rules so let's start from the rule number 1 the naming of the alkane the first one rule is simple you need to identify identify the longest continuous chain first rule is to identify the longest continuous chain this is the first rule and that chain must have maximum branches it must have maximum substitutes you can say that or it must have the maximum branches and these maximum branches are known as its substitutes so these substitutes may be different groups attached to the carbon chain so after identifying the longest continuous chain that is having the maximum chain now this chain or the longest continuous chain is known as the parent chain this is known as the parent chain for example we have a chain carbon that is ch3 ch2 ch we have ch2 then we have ch2 for example we have seven carbon atoms carbon number 4 5 6 and at the end we have ch3 that is seven so by numbering it we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so the second rule we have it is number the carbon chain or the parent chain so we have to give number to parent chain number to the parent chain and that chain must be longest chain 
and we must start the numbering of the parent chain from the end that gives lowest number lower number or the lowest number to the substituents substituents so for example if we have a chain over there like this ch3 ch we have then group ch2 ch2 and we have ch3 and it is having a substitute as a side chain or the branch chain like this now we will always start the numbering from this side that is carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 as this is the longest chain it is having the substitute this we are not going to start the numbering from this side we will start the numbering from this side because here the substitute is going to have the number 2 if I am going to start from this then 1 2 3 4 add that this substitute is going to have the number 4 but we need to start from the lower number so this is the second rule after that we have the third and the fourth rule so the third rule is the parent name of alkane is derived from the common system as the parent name or the parent chain parent name of the chain is derived from the common system the common system we have like a, we need to name the alkane by the simple number of carbon atoms according to number of carbon atoms for example if we have five number of carbon atoms like CH3 CH2 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 and CH3 here we have five carbon atoms 3 4 and 5 so the parent name for this chain we will have as pentane we will have pentane or if we, it is going to have if seven number of carbon atoms then its name will be heptane and so on and after that we have the fourth one rule for this is the parent name is placed at last so the parent name is placed at last and the substituent name is preceded with the number is preceded by the number that is showing its location showing its location on the parent chain for example if we have a compound like this CH3 CH CH2 CH2 and CH3 and here we have the substituent and the numbering was 1 2 3 4 5 here we have this branch as CH3 now this CH3 is present on the carbon number 2 so its name will be 2 the group is methyl and the parent chain is having 5 number of carbon atoms so its name will be 2 methyl pentane next we have the rule number 5 and 6 so rule number 5 we have when two or more branches are present when two or more branches are present then what we have to do then we must give each substitute a number we need to give number to each substituent each substituent corresponding to its location on the parent chain parent 
chain for example we have a group like ch3 ch it is having a side chain like ch3 next we have ch2 ch it is having a second branch ch3 ch2 and ch3 we need to choose the longest chain here the longest or the parent chain is this so we will start the numbering from this side because here the substitute is having number 2 if we are going to start from this side then the substitute is going to number have 3 so we will start from this carbon number 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we will start the naming of this carbon number 2 and add the carbon number 4 2 and 4 there are two substituents so methyl groups we will name it as dimethyl and the parent six number of carbon atoms so it will be hexane 2 4 dimethyl hexane next we have the sixth one rule when two branches or substitutes are present on the same carbon atom when two substituents are present on the same carbon atom like this CH3 C it is having the group CH3 it is having the group CH3 next we have CH2 and CH3 then what we have to do we just need give each substitute a specific number so we will start from here 1 2 3 and 4 so here four number of carbon atoms are present this is the parent chain and at carbon number 2 we have two substituents then we will name it as 2 2 dimethyl and the parent name is butane this is the sixth one rule after that we have the seventh and eighth rule for the naming of the alkanes is as if the same substituents occur more than once if the same substituents is present more than once then we need to add the word die try and so on etc like 2,2-dimethylhexane like another example if we have CH3C it is having two substituents CH3 and CH3 CH2 and CH3 here the parent chain is carbon 4 starting from 1, 2, 3 and 4 and two substituents are present CH3 and CH3 so we will name it as 2 2 di methyl and the parent name is butane next we have the rule number 8 the rule number 8 is going to tell you when two or more branches are not identical when branches these are different or not identical then we must name them alphabetically like if the methyl group is present and if the ethyl group is present then we must put ethyl first as E alphabetically comes and then we will put likewise methyl ethyl methyl next we have the rule number 9 and 10 so the rule number 9 tells us that when there are two chains of equal length when the chains that are we gonna do parent chain they are equal two chains then what we have to do we must choose the chain that is having more branches so this is the ninth rule after that we have the tenth rule the tenth rule when the first substituents occur at the equal it means the side chains or the branches are at the same distance from two ends then you must start the numbering which gives 
lower number to the substituents so this is where the it was the tenth rule for naming of the organic compounds or alkanes so i hope you guys understand the naming of alkanes or the nomenclature of the organic compounds and if you have any queries you can ask me about that in the comment section for that time have a good day and a laugh